Welcome to Sew Bliss. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute burp cloths. The supplies that you're going to need for this project are first you're going to need a pattern. I just made mine out of some paper and I wrote on here as you can see the widest part is 9 inches across and the smallest part is 7 inches across and then the length of it is 16 inches. So if you would like to make one that's the same size as mine there's that and you can make that just out of paper and use those measurements. You could also find some patterns online. I've seen a few that are similar to mine. And then there's the option of just making it into the shape of a rectangle. So you could do a 10 by 16 inch or whatever you want size rectangle. Now you're also going to need some nice soft chenille fabric. And I just got this at Joann's in their soft and cozy or soft and fuzzy section right by the flannels and it's a really nice soft and thick fabric so it should be pretty absorbent. I know a lot of people like to use cloth diapers as their backing for their burp cloth and you could also find that at Walmart. I just wanted to use this nicer fabric so that it looks a little bit nicer but if you want to you could add another layer so put that cloth diaper on the inside of the burp cloth and I'm sure that would add a lot more absorbency to the burp cloth. You're also going to need a complementary fabric that will go on the other side of the burp cloth unless you want to do both sides with the chenille but I like having a different kind of fabric on the back and this is just a fat quarter piece so I'm going to be able to get two burp cloths out of this fat quarter and this is a flannel so it's a little bit softer. I like the softer fabrics for the burp cloths just so it'll be nice on mom and baby and then you're just going to need all of your basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. Once you have your pattern picked out and ready to use, next we're just going to cut out both layers of fabric. So you'll see that on my chenille fabric, I just am cutting out one layer because we're doing the red polka dots for the other side. So I'll just cut one layer out of this and then one layer out of the red. After I have both pieces cut out, I'm then going to take one of my pieces and place it on top of the other with the right sides together. And then I'm just going to pin all the way around the edge. Now once both pieces are pinned together, you can then go over to your sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch all the way around it at a quarter of an inch, but I'm going to leave an opening so that I can turn it right sides out. So make sure you do that or you won't be able to turn the burp cloth to the right side. Now after my pieces are sewn together and I've left a small opening, now I'm going to turn the burp cloth right sides out. Now after I've turned mine right sides out, I like to press the iron on it a little bit just to give it a nice crisp edge and make sure all those seams line up like along here. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Now when I come to the edge that we left open so that we could turn it right sides out, I'm just going to curl that under a quarter of an inch on both sides and iron that down. So that way when we go to top stitch it, it'll be ready to be top stitched down. And to finish off the birth cloth, I'm now going to do a top stitch all the way around. And I'm going to do a zigzag stitch just because I like the look of it. And I think it will look cute on the burp cloth. But if your machine has decorative stitches, you could also use those. You could do a double needle stitch or you could just stick with a simple single needle stitch. Now after you are done with the top stitching, you are all done with your burp cloth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or would like to see a specific tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!